Hey guys, last week after Apple finally finalized Pixelmator purchase, I saw many headlines saying it's a Mac Photoshop killer, Photoshop killer by Apple, but I don't think that's the case, at least not yet. Pixelmator Pro was available for a while now and didn't kill Photoshop at all. So today we're going to look into missing features of Pixelmator Pro to let you know maybe this is like deal breaker for you or maybe you will use none of that in your daily workflow. So this is very much depending on your workflow, all right? Maybe there are some missing features I did not mention here because I didn't consider that important feature for my workflow. Feel free to drop it in the comment section below. Let us know maybe there's something that you really miss and you cannot switch to Pixelmator Pro because of that. All right, for now I have seven still missing features in Pixelmator Pro. First one is a big one in my opinion, content aware fill or AI aware fill, when you can generate a new backdrop, you can generate new content for the part of your image. Many programs already got something like this and here, here is really, really tough to make extra backdrop to generate content for like the part that you want to remove unwanted objects so this is missing we got repair tool we can do it in the small scale repair little tiny objects but in just fill that we can fill larger areas that's missing smart object support the great news is most of the filters tools apply non-destructive changes so we can always reset them, we can always go back to the original. But for like smart objects on its own, that we can kind of put the variable inside and we can change that variable image in that smart object later on, that's still missing feature here. Asset management system, we cannot just open some kind of asset window here on the right or left and drag in our favorite assets, brushes, textures from within the program. Multi-page support, that's missing. I think that's not the crucial thing for most people, but for example, if you are designing document that got like front and back, you, you wanna have like both pages in one, in one file, that would be great. So we can only support a single artboard, a single photo. We cannot do like multi-page documents in Pixelmator Pro just yet. No third-party plugins are available for Pixelmator Pro right now. So if your work really depends on some kind of third-party plugin to Photoshop, you cannot use that here. Strong community, that may be a big one for some. Right now, Pixelmator Pro community is kind of small. It's increasing day by day. Now, after this acquisition by Apple, people kind of checking this out, buying the program, trying to learn about it more, but it's still small comparing to like Photoshop community or even Affinity Photo community. So if you wanna search for tutorials, brushes, resources, it's way harder with Pixelmator Pro. And it's not easier because it's only available for Mac, so we're kind of cutting out most people on Windows. So it's really tiny community right now. So you cannot like lean into that strong community that already got like hundreds of resources, tutorials, videos, classes, courses online, okay? So it's still missing here, but it's slowly building. And something I mentioned before with the content hour feel, all of this AI generating tools, the Firefly, all of this new stuff is missing here right now. As I mentioned, Apple bought this program, so in the near future, they may integrate that with Apple Intelligence, so they will allow us to use Image Playground within the program, that would be great. Right now, for like AI tools, we got some machine learning selection, so that's good. We got some machine learning selection, but like generating totally new images, people, backdrops, that's a missing feature. All right, so here are seven missing features in Pixelmator Pro. We are now on the version 3.6, as you can see. They just officially sealed the deal with Apple, so I hope they will get more funding and we'll fix some of that in the future updates. All right, 
Thank you for today and feel free to drop some comments below. Tell me what do you think are missing features of this software, what they should add in the future updates. Thank you for today. See you in the next one.